Welcome back. With the operational manufacturing process that we configured for Stealthy Wood, I can now turn my attention to integrating sales with our manufacturing flow. With Odoo, I can set up automatic behaviors when someone buys a product that needs to be manufactured or when some components for production are required. This is handy because it helps save time and avoids any bottlenecks due to missing material when the manufacturing process has already started. By setting it up correctly, every time someone buys a product that I need to manufacture, my database automatically creates the related sales orders. Then Odoo generates a request for quotation for the components or products I need from my vendors and a manufacturing order for the product to be manufactured. A few clicks and receptions later, my employees can start working to answer our customers' needs. Now let's see how to implement this in Stealthy Woods database so we can focus on manufacturing more goods. All right, here I am on my database. Now, of course, working with such a process requires some setup. So we're gonna go to manufacturing. And the first thing is to have a bill of materials for the product to manufacture. So we're gonna go to products, bills of materials. Now here, I've decided to set up the flow for our conference chair. So let's go to the bill of material that I created for the conference chair. And since I wanna manufacture this product, I need to activate the manufacture route on the product form. So I'm gonna click on the product Go to inventory and be sure I have manufacturer selected, which I do here. All right, we're gonna jump back to our bomb for this item and we also want to automate our purchase order so we don't run out of stock for our components. So to do that, I need to tell Odoo that these items need to be purchased. So I'm gonna to go to my chair seat as an example in this product form. I'm gonna to go to inventory. First of all, I wanna be sure that I have the root buy selected since I will be purchasing this item from a vendor. And I'm gonna to go to the purchase tab and I wanna be sure that I have that vendor added here as well. All right, but that's not all. I also need to configure some reordering rules to know how many items should be ordered when a sales order is created. So let's click on this smart button, reordering rules here, go to create, and then we're simply gonna add our minimum maximum quantity click on save all right and then we're going to jump back to our bill of material and I already have the other components set up that way as well so since everything is ready we can start the flow and we're actually going to start that from the sales application all right and I'm going to create a sales order for one of our customers so let's go ahead and select Azure interior as our customer and then we can add our product so I'm going to choose the conference chair I'm gonna save this quotation and confirm it, turning it into a sales order, which generates our delivery order. All right, we're gonna jump over to the operations tab here. And as we can see, we can't validate the delivery order because we don't have the product in stock. And we also need to produce this item, which is why the transfer is in the stage waiting. So since some of my components must also be purchased, a purchase order must be created as well as a manufacturing order. So right now, let's go ahead and jump to the purchase application. And I'm going to see that no purchase orders have been generated because we don't have any uh, with that source document. So it's a quick way to tell. Um, but that's because I actually need to generate everything from the inventory application first. So we're going to go to inventory. And then under the operations menu, I'm going to go to replenishment. All right, I have my conference chair here. And from here, I'm going to uh, click on automate orders. All right, I see that manufacturing order has been created and it should create my purchase orders as well. So we're gonna go back to the purchase application where I now have that source document. So I can go ahead and select here and process the purchase order. All right, so I have all of the items that I need. So my maximum was 10. And since I um, already know that I'm going to use one of those items, it is going to, um, it's going to order 11 of each product. So let's go ahead and confirm this order. We're gonna receive those items and validate. And then we can apply. All right, so that's gonna apply the demand as the done quantity. And now the product still needs to be manufactured. So we're gonna to jump to the manufacturing application. And since we didn't configure any operations nor work centers for this bomb, I can simply find this manufacturing order under operations, manufacturing orders. All right, and I have my conference chair, which is ready to go. All right, and then I can simply mark this as done. All right, we're gonna apply and that manufacturing order is done. This item has been produced. So let's go ahead and jump back to 
Our sales order for Azure Interior, we're going to go to the delivery, and we see that now it's been moved from the waiting stage to the ready stage, meaning that we can go ahead and deliver this item. So let's validate it, which will apply the reserved quantity to done if I haven't manually modified that. All right and the delivery is done. That's it. We delivered this item to Azure Interior. And with this setup, Stealthy Wood is ready to receive any order of manufactural products without being afraid of running out of stock uh, for our components. Thank you for watching. That's all for this video. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.